Oh no, my balls. It tastes a little boring. I've made dough so many times and I've learned nothing from it. Welcome back to Without a Recipe, the summer season. I'm excited. Ooh, today we're making donuts in the Tri Kitchen. Ah, ah, ah. I'm letting the real Eugene come out. Now Eugene is evil. Quasi James is joining us to compete. Keith is judging. The world is upside down, and I'm gonna win. My donuts are melting. I think these are the best things I've ever made. Yeah, just indulge. Yeah, just, you know, just enjoy it. Don't even judge me. You know, just <laughs> enjoy it. Don't say bad things. Don't say bad things. The Try Guys are in their brand new test kitchen for a thrilling episode of Without a Recipe. Think of it like cement mixing. Yeah. You know what I mean? This week, they're making donuts. Eugene, I'm ready for my flight. Oh my god, if you get like neck hair in that. Will the good times roll or will it prove to be more than their fill? Willy in Wonka over here. What the f is a donut? It's a cake with a hole in it. Each baker will have three hours to make a donut of their choice and present it to our panel of judges. I'm Rosanna Pansino, I'm a foodie, and I have a popular baking channel on YouTube, and I also host HBO Max's Baketopia. I'm Keith Habersberger from Carthage, Tennessee. I'm a Food Network star and a food enthusiast on the Try Guys YouTube channel. <laughs> I am looking forward to being a judge this season. I don't love all sweets, but donuts are one of those that like, as a child, I remember I would sit and eat like a, a half a dozen. <laughs> oh yeah, Krispy Kremes, baby. Hi, Stephanie Thornton. I am the head pastry chef of Blue Star Donuts up in Portland and also here in LA. Donuts have been my life for like eight years now. So I am the eat a donut for breakfast person every day. A really good donut for me is all about the ingredients. I have a bachelor's of science in baking and pastry and it changed my life. We started in 2012 as a concept to elevate donuts to where I believe they belong as a fancy pastry. A good donut is not overly sweet, really buttery, nice and fluffy, maybe super chocolatey, maybe a little spicy. The unique thing about our donuts is an element we like to call the third heat. When you bite into the donut, you just know that there's something there that you maybe just can't quite put your finger on at first. The goal is donuts for grown-ups. Making donuts can be pretty advanced. Using yeast is complicated and you really have to pay attention to what you're doing and you have to have confidence. This is the perfect donut right here. It's my favorite. And good luck out there. <laughs> donuts, Homer Simpson's favorite. Stereotypically, a cop's thing. Mm. Cops. <laughs> My favorite donut is a Boston cream donut. How do I fill a donut? No idea. I imagine you just jam a pastry thing so far down its hole that it just <laughs> gets. Okay, I'm not, that is not what I'm gonna be doing this episode. Something about biting a donut makes me nauseous. I do know that donuts are fried and that means I'm gonna hurt myself today. I'm Quasi James, and I'm a nice fella from the streets of Brooklyn, New York. A little bit of Caribbean inside of me, but a lot of enthusiasm. Oh, I've been on the show before, but I've been on the show only as a judge. I don't bake. I get baked. I'm rooting for Quasi to win. You're competing. I know I'm competing in it, but I still want Quasi to win. That's a Ned Eugene uh, pairing. And you know when we're paired together, things get a little wild. Ned, do you know what uh, donut dough is made out of? Yeah, I think I can figure it out. Donut without a hole in the middle. It's asinine. It ain't a donut. Asinine. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. Yeah, that's the word of the day. It, asinine. <laughs> asinine. All right, bakers, in three, two, two one. one. Try to bake. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Do we run? You 
sure. I don't know what to do though. So today we're making a Trinidadian inspired curry roti donut. My family's from Trinidad and Tobago. The Indian culture is really strong when it comes to food. I don't know about your family, Zach. I've never seen my mom or my grandmother pull out a measuring cup for anything. I never saw my mom pull out a measuring cup, but that's because she doesn't know how to cook. Oh, got it. <laughs> now, when I say song of the summer, you say Bieber. Today, I've got my peaches donut, Georgia. I'm making a Justin Bieber inspired peaches donut. Here's the thing. This season's all about getting people to follow me on Instagram. <laughs> oh, there is bread flour here. Oh, no. This whole season, I'm doing things to honor my beautiful wife, Ariel, AKA mommy's favorite. Ariel's favorite dessert is tiramisu. And so I am making a tiramisu Boston cream donut. Guess what I'm doing? S something Asian? Yes. Yes? I'm excited because I am going to try to use a flavor that I love, but I've never actually cooked with, which is ube. Ube is mainly used in Filipino cuisine. I love boba, so I'm thinking that combining boba and ube will be really interesting. You could call it... Ube donuts. <laughs> I just, I didn't prep that. I don't prep jokes. Wow. I mean, that has to be the, the name of the donuts now, right? It does. Originally, I wanted to make these kind of artisanal looking. And this will be artisanal. They'll just be a little more, um, memory. First, the bakers will have half an hour to make their dough. I see you're going for a classic, just throw it all at the wall approach. I will be using my trusty bread scale because I don't know how to make donuts, but I do know how to make bread. You got the technician and the madman. You yeah. need to make a dough by the end All right, of this. how do you make a dough? I'm gonna make our brioche dough. So I have my flour in the bowl and I've got my yeast, sugar, salt, and flavorings, milk, eggs, and butter. Baking soda I know goes in baking stuff. Sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah, or baking powder at least, yeah. You definitely don't want baking soda or baking powder. Donuts oh. make me poop weird. So there's butter, there's maybe milk, and I wanna oh. say there's maybe egg. What does AP flour stand for? Wow, I feel like I just traveled back in time and I'm with myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, uh, bless one of these. All purpose flour. All purpose. I'm gonna start with my yeast and put my flour and yeast together. And you give them a chance to stir for a couple seconds before you add in any of the ingredients so you don't have any bad reactions with the yeast. All I know about yeast is you gotta activate it. Oh yeah. From the bread episode. Right. Usually don't do it, but I think that for like sweeter breads that often has milk, yeast has to be warm. So I'm gonna try and warm my milk in the microwave. Salt and sugar both react with yeast, so you wanna make sure that you're not dumping them on top. Two cups of sugar. I know some people say salt kills yeast or whatever, but I don't want to go through the hassle of putting my salt in later. I'm making about 150 donuts, so that's why I have a lot of yeast. Too much yeast is very sour, so it would just make a very sour dough. Oh, do we have another yeast packet? So it would probably end in disaster. Well, this is pretty yeast. I don't want to not have enough yeast. I'm not putting booze in this until the glaze. You know, I'm showing restraint this season. Aw. And then I'm gonna add in my sugar and salt and my flavorings. I don't just want it to be a plain donut and then puts the peach on top. You know, I wanna get some peach flavor. So what I'm hoping and assuming is that I just chop up a bunch of peaches, put it in lemon juice, slow cook it, and then I get like wonderful peach syrup. I wonder when does it need to go in here? To mix it. I should help you. <laughs> hey, there we go, that's so about, oh, yeah, buddy. If you're making a yeasted donut, you don't need anything fancy, and you definitely don't want way too much sugar. You know what, there's this purple powdered yam. I'm just gonna put this in my dry ingredients too. Ube the f out of this. Look at this beautiful mm. purple color. I'm gonna pulverize some lady fingers. Get after it. Hey, we got some smoke. All right, now we're bubbling. Hot cha cha. You know what the hell you're doing. You have like ice and shit, bro? So I drained the peaches. I had this little bit of peach extract. I'm gonna cool it over ice, so then I can work it into my dough and have a peach flavored dough. So my ball, I got some white stuff. <laughs> and I got some stuff that's off white. Um, I've got my milk going in and my eggs. I'm gonna go for three eggs. Yeah, I'm gonna be better now. See, I'm not putting 12 eggs in things. And I think you should probably put milk in it, probably. Egg before milk or milk before egg? Milk before egg? 
you're, they're gonna beg. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna let this come together and I'm gonna give it a good time to mix before I add in all of my butter. And I also got this ube extract, which is really gorgeous. And it's a beautiful dark, almost black color. <laughs> this is gonna be really, really ube forward. I'm ube excited. Oh, hell yeah. This looks like it's something. It has to have like a Play-Doh type consistency. That's what I do know. For my meal, think about you're in the Caribbean, you're on your third mojito. Butter, flour, sugar, water, yeast. Did I throw yeast in already? <laughs> you m Where? Where's the second one of these? Crazy, I've been doing this show for a long time. When the crew laughs, it means you're doing something awesome. <laughs> Now, see, now I'm sweating, man. I'm <laughs> nervous. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. Calm down, Quakes. You got this. You happen to underwork your dough, it actually won't really come together, and it'll be very sticky, very messy, and you'll end up with it all over your fingers. I don't know how to cook, but I know that's not right. I don't think I have enough dough. Yeah. You know Pressure, what? Boom. I will take another bowl, please, if that's I could. Too hot. <laughs> oh, it's sticky. I need more flour. Even more flour. More liquids on that ass. It just was too wet, so I'm just putting as much flour as I can into this. Oh, I have like three cups of wet ube in this. This is beautiful. You dough, keep going, dough. You know, this is starting to feel like sourdough that's about to have its rise. Tastes good. Did I really make this one too? I have no memory. That's crazy. I really kind of black out when I'm in this kitchen. Do I have a target on my back? Is this my challenge to lose? Ned, any baking challenge is yours to lose. You want to make sure that the dough develops with flavor and the yeast gets a chance to really mix with all the ingredients. Gonna make your donut really buttery, really delicious. Whew. Give me a nice workout. Hell yes. Come on. This is like almost professional. Yeah. Oh, duh. You down, you're too hot. You're too hot, baby. You're too hot. Tell them, too hot. Oh, too hot. Too hot. So too hot. hot. Oh, man, too uh, hot. You're actually blowing the powder everywhere, making <laughs> yeah. it harder to clean up. It's day two, and after leaving their dough to fully develop overnight, the bakers will have two hours to turn their dough knots into dough yeses. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Without a recipe, the fight in the kitchen. I got three doughs, I gotta figure out which one's good. Got it, I know which one I'm going with. So at this point, the dough has rested in the refrigerator overnight and it's very cold. How much time you got, chef? Crazy, right. we just started. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we wanna roll it out nice and even so that our donuts look perfect. I don't think it's gonna rise much more, so I'm gonna make it about the size of donuts. You are going for even about a quarter inch to a half inch thick because they are going to rise. Is this too flat? How flat? Donuts aren't flat. Donuts aren't flat. But then it proofs. We wanna make sure we put enough flour on. We definitely do not want the dough to stick. Uh, let go. And you can see the specks of the yam, because that's what you want when you get a donut, right? Big chunks of yam. You know, my muse for this episode is one Just Bieber. Old Bieber, <laughs> he's a bad boy. So I need my donuts to be a little naughty. I'm gonna add some spice. At this point with the dough, I wouldn't wanna add anything into it. I would've wanted to do that on the mixer. Maggie's favorite, tahine. Ooh. This dough is a finished product, and if you add anything in, it's just gonna tear apart all of the gluten development that we've created, and it won't actually stay, and it'll look really ugly. You wanna take a shot? Of, of alcohol? Yes, yeah, so a whiskey. I'll, I'll watch you do it. Ah, uh, nah, so, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> So let's get our whiskey. <laughs> you want it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, how about that bullet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the great name is Zach, Mazel. Mazel. Yeah. Hey, L'chaim. L'chaim all day. I'm feeling confident now. All right, I'm gonna go back outside. Let's make it happen. And now we're gonna cut. I love cutting out donuts by hand. Really makes me feel like I'm one with this dough. I was just gonna do like circular filled donuts. What if I like draw an actual pear and make them all different? I okay. asked him multiple <laughs> times today what he was doing and he was like, I'm gonna tell you on camera. It's ube and boba. So boba and ube. <laughs> boobé. Boobé. Yeah, my boobés. So You're I'm making, making boobés? I'm making boobés. Are they gonna look like boobs? Yeah. What? Yeah. All right, so what I'm doing with mine, I'm trying to keep mine as simple as possible. And then I'm gonna throw all the spices in the Caribbean culture on top of it. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, would you guys like sweat inside of your donuts, guys? Cause I'm 
I'm pouring in. Here we go. Working. Thanks, the man, man is putting himself mm. into his art. I like it. It's squishy. It's kind of fluffy. I think my dough texture is looking really good. I'm just going to look at some references for shapes. Are you just looking at boobs on your phone? No, illustrations of them. To represent all the diversity, um, they're all gonna be different. They're all gonna look different, you know? Okay. So like the nipple placement's gonna be different. Everything is, every boob is unique. Yeah, I took several art classes with like the human form. So it's kind of just appreciating the human body. Do you, you need can to interpret see it. Um, some reference boobies? Oh. Just, you know, as a point of reference. Very nice. I know what you're thinking. Kinda look they like, kind of look like balls. They kind of look like nuts. Ass. Yes, they look a little bit like balls right now, but that's before the vision uh, is complete. That's right, they need the nips. Yeah. This one looks like a butt. There's a lot of stuff that's just kind of shaped like each other on the human body. In the end, we're all just lots of circles. Kind of the Atari symbol, I get. Um, but yeah, they do kind of look like nuts. <laughs> I'm losing this episode, aren't I? <laughs> With one hour remaining, the bakers move on to making their fillings and toppings. We make this fresh blueberry glaze with fresh blueberries, fresh basil, and a little something extra. I would have assumed a glaze needs some sort of binding something. I don't know, let's just start heating stuff up. We have what's called, apologies if I pronounce this incorrectly, but it's halayang, the jam form of ube. We're gonna do what I always do. Yeah, cream and whiskey. Give me some lemon. But to put in the butt of my boobas, I'm going to cook boba. No. no. Yeah. Boba's tapioca balls, which is just like little delightful bursts of starch. But it's very popular now. All the white people love it. I, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get to it. I'm going to try and make a tiramisu inside. So it's going to be mascarpone plus whipped cream. And I'm going to infuse a little bit of an espresso for like a kind of slightly off-white color. And then. I'm gonna dip the top in white chocolate and dust it with cocoa powder. Do a little bit of Kahlua, cause mommy likes it. That's pretty good. Tiramisu, bam. Nice. My advice would be, don't be afraid to be adventurous. Don't be afraid to use something that you wouldn't think would work, cause sometimes it does. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just gonna cut the scotch bonnet. How, how hot exactly are these hot peppers? Mad hot. <laughs> Who's the judge of this contest again? Keith. Keith doesn't like spicy stuff, right? He has a very weak tongue. <laughs> okay, the plan is I'm gonna puree everything. How do you puree stuff? Blend it in some blender. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but I think that's what you need that to do. Are you into hot stuff? Oh. That's no joke. And then we're going crazy with it. 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 It smells amazing. It smells like the Caribbean, It smells man. really good. <laughs> I'm trying to make a bourbon glaze that doesn't congeal into cottage cheese. Third right. time to charm. I did not clean the pan. Uh, I'm going to let the, the ghost of Christmas past kind of mingle with this and, and teach it its learnings. We've got a reaction in here. Something's going on. So that's exciting. Something's burning. It did burn in the oh, past. Oh, it did burn. Got it, got it, got it. That's good. It. It's amazing at this. It's freaking good. It's really it's good. It's incredible. Now that our donuts are all proofed and ready to go, it's time to cook. I fry at 350 for these. How do we not die doing this? All right, my fryer is at 365, which seems like a good introductory temperature. It's really, really hot, and then your donuts are going to burn. If your temperature is too low, they're going to absorb a lot of oil. It's not really... It's actually pretty boring. Kind of dull. I thought donuts were fun. Let's let's crank up the heat. I'm just going for it. No Mine way. float. Should it float? <laughs> Mine aren't floating. Yeast raised donuts float. If they sink, they're cold, they're not proofed, and they're probably gonna be bad. Fire! Look at that, Zach. I'm smooth sailing, baby. I'm doing about one minute per side, and you want that golden brown that I'm getting right now? Look at this. Super raw. It's oozing out. That's cooked. God, that tastes really good. Ooh, that's nice. It's gotta just flip a roux. You trying to thwart? This is a nice fried donut right here. Aw, now they really look like balls. Everyone's laughing at me. Donuts, donuts, he's nuts. You're doing a good job, man. Goodness gracious, man. 
My process today is going to be fry it, glaze it, and then bake it. The oven's on, Quasi. What the hell? Food baking before or after? Before for sure. Wait, wait, wait. Then why, you, you don't fry it and bake it. Well, why is the oven on? Why is the oven on? This is like a, like a, what is, what is that house you go into with your whole family and then you guys argue after when you go home? Escape room. Escape room, yeah, yeah, it's like one of those, dude. Shit. I'm gonna do it. Do you bake donuts? I would never bake a donut. That's why we don't call donuts baked goods, because it's not baked. Okay, my donuts have been cooking in the oven for 20 minutes. I'm gonna check on them, see how they're doing. How long does it take to bake donuts? I don't think that baked donuts are really donuts. No, this is this sucks. Now the, the outside's just getting even crispier. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy, man. Only fry a donut. It's the right way to do it. I can't wait to watch this hey. video and learn what the fuck I was supposed to do. <laughs> All right, Quace, focus. It was, I forgot that it was hot. Oh. Let's wash my hand real quick. Mm. Might burn. I'm a something guy, Chef. I, gotta, I better get it to move on. Oh no, it's trying to get out. Oh, the balls are trying to escape. I gotta go. <laughs> Your balls are bursting with flavor. Now, how do I? It's vibing, bro. Or as they say in Cool Runnings, it's bobsled time. Oh, you can see it kind of puffing out. I'm really trying to puff it to the point of it bursting out the bottom. Oh, I'm just trying to get as much boba in these boobas as possible. Ow, it's hot, it is hot on my hands. I'm gonna try to make like a, uh, a nice chow for Keith. Something to offset the hotness. My grandfather used to make it. It's um, fruits, black pepper, and a little bit of salt inside of it. They can take a spoon shot of the peach. I'm doing dope shit over here, guys. How you doing, Zach? You all right? Burned myself, Quasi. Filled that out. I'm bursting. Have you ever been into a donut and been like, dang, there's too much filling? No. These boobies are gonna be chock full balls. I'll put your balls in my mouth. Ah, shit, again. Things are not coming up corn diddy right now. Where do the nipples go on this one? Oh, uh, these should be right in the middle. Yeah, big nipples. Dust it, dust it, dust it, dust it. I think these are the best things I've ever made. Oh, that is wonderful. That is so good. Every part of my Asian body is tingling. It's so chewy, there's so many balls in my mouth. A little crinkle on top, a little crinkle tinkle. It's edible gold. I think we're serving two very different clientele. <laughs> I'm a something guy, chef. 11 minutes. I, gotta, I better get it to move room. Okay, back. <sighs> As the other contestants finalize their donuts, the burn on Zach's hand prevents him from frying or decorating. No, I don't have enough time. It's not gonna make in time. You can't finish his donuts, he will suffer the first disqualification and without a recipe history. I need a tag team. Eugene? Eugene? Anyone want to take a shot? Shot? Eugene, quickly. I need, I have a shot for you. Shot? I need your help. <laughs> Time's running out. What? I burned my hand. I need you to fry my donuts for me. Okay. Just pretend like you're linguine and I'm ratatouille. I'm on your head. I'm puppeting you. I'm, I'm, I'm a son, my guy, chef. Six minutes, dude. Six minutes. So there's an orange sauce. Okay. Let's put that into that piping bag. Is this cheese? No, it's not cheese, it's peach. Oh, okay. Do you want to just do a drizzle and then do like a cross drizzle? That That's sounds the great. simplest. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, crazy. Next. Let me help you. What's going on? I got two in there. Got two in the chamber. No, I think you're doing over. great, actually. Thank you. I don't I don't need to be here. <laughs> what is in this? It's been sitting for a while, so just heat it up just a little bit. No, I think we should just work with this. How much more time, chef? Wow. One minute, chef. Let's get some work. Just the lightest dusting of tahini from the sky, and then we have little uh, peach peels that I pre-cut. We're just gonna put one on each. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up, bakers. <gasps> well, if I put my hands up, I'm gonna shout at this <laughs> Honestly, Eugene, thank you so much. We did it. When the judges taste these, I want you to think we made this together. I think we got it. Well, we got it. I think well, we got I mean, it. I hope that I uh, win, but, uh... oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It is the third week of Without a Recipe, and it's time to judge. As always, we are judging on only the finest of categories. Presentation, creativity, taste, and 
Is it a donut? A good donut um, in my world is about being able to finish it and maybe go for a second one. I'm just looking for something that's cooked. I mean, I love a jelly-filled donut or something or a cream-filled donut. And I even brought my donut shoes. Never say never. Wow. Whoa. Look at these. <laughs> Judges, I like to let great art inspire my art. And if you ask me, the sound of the summer, it's Mr. Justin Bieber. Today I present a Justin Bieber inspired peach donut, but Mr. Bieber's a little bit of a bad boy. So we've got a bourbon glaze and a little bit of tahine. Give it that little bit of kick. Zach, I've seen a lot of your baking. Sure and have. Th this is kind of a cute presentation you got going on. And I'm having high hopes. I'm hoping this is sweet and spicy. It's so weird. The top, when you get a really strong whiff of it, it smells burned. I got burned. <laughs> Maybe that's what you're smelling. It oh. smells so bad. <laughs> <laughs> It's so odd. It does smell just awful. It smells like, <laughs> it smells I'm like so I tried to say, like, maybe awful. I'm just not getting it, but it I, smells bad. I don't know why. Just don't breathe in when we get the bite. Do you smell yeah. it? It does. Yeah, it what definitely do you does. Think I, it is that? Do you think I, it's the seasoning? I think it's the seasoning. Or is it the topic? I mean, I don't see anything burnt. I so feel it like it's the seasoning. How did you make this smell? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's just not smelling great. No. Is it too late to say sorry? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, wow, look at that, big bites. All right, they're thinking about it. They don't hate it. Maybe they will. Well, the good news is, wow. it doesn't taste anything like it smells. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes pretty good. No kidding. It has a smoky aftertaste. Keith, can you can you feel that? What is, could you have possibly a smoky... do that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that explains it. Yeah, I have no idea what could have done that. <laughs> did you do? Did you? Did you do something to the peach itself? Nope. <laughs> Zach, why does this taste smoky? Because I know? ate the peach and I I tasted the char. Here's what happened. I made a couple different versions of the glaze. Oh, okay. And instead of washing the pot, I just kind of kept doing it. <laughs> so there's perhaps the glaze of yesteryear. The thing is, when, when I don't taste the burnness, I actually <laughs> like the flavors a lot. Whoa. I think the, the tahini makes me forget the heaviness and take another bite. I think the flavor combination is very creative. It's definitely something that would be like a very fun concept that I would have done at Blue Stars. I don't think she would have done it at Blue Star. You yeah, hear well. that? That's the top of the donut game. <laughs> I've never seen fruit on top of a donut before, and I really enjoyed this. I've seen more creative from you. This is crazy, but it kind of looks like something Ned would have made. I don't know the weather to be impressed or offended. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> Judges, is it a donut? I think so. Yeah. Every other bite yeah. is a little game of roulette, whether it tastes like something burned, but it's a donut. Thank you, judges. You guys want to try some? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these, Whoa. oh my goodness. Gold? Oh, I love me some blingy donuts. Hot damn. For this challenge, I really wanted to make Ariel's favorite tiramisu, which we order every single time we're at an Italian restaurant. So I present to you my tiramisu donuts, AKA mommy's favorite. We have here a ladyfinger infused uh, vanilla donut with a mascarpone cream frosting with a little bit of espresso in the center, a uh, white chocolate top with cocoa dusting and some decorative gold foil. Well, they're beautiful. You know, it looks like uh, when a pastry cart goes by at an expensive restaurant, you're like, oh, what's that? What is that? This is Dunkin' After Dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks so cool. It kind of looks like a cream puff. I always have a pet peeve when there isn't enough filling in there. Whoa, so these are heavy. I really tried to. I mean, there's a lot of I really filling. I tried to give you. You yeah, did. these are very heavy. This is a filled <laughs> donut. I really think this donut feels like you're getting your money's worth for sure. Oh, and um, it costs it looks, $16. I was gonna say, <laughs> how much is that gold? <laughs> this is impressive. And I think it's really creative. Man, this, wow. Thanks, bro. 
Wow, and threw some gold on it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, we agree it looks great, so let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. Oh, she's ripping it. Oh, I love that, just to see if it's gonna oh, be poison yeah. or not. Okay, I, well, you said it was so, so filled, but it doesn't look so, well, I, so You know, I tried oh, to fill it as much as I could. It's a lot of donut. Oh, I thought it was all filling. No, it's, that, that's donut. Dang, I filled the f out of those donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is, these are huge. This is a Keith mouth job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Keith. Mm. It's, a, it's a lot of donut. It does taste like tiramisu. And it tastes like a great donut dough. I think it tastes a little more like bread. I feel like I'm getting a little like sour. Like, you know, you're getting like strong yeast flavor with the mascarpone. It's like a sour on sour. Like a little less tiramisu and a little bit more like sour creamy. I like the flavors on the top. Keith, is this up to your expectation? It tastes a little boring. Like, it tastes like tiramisu. If I had sampled several donuts, and this is one of the ones I've sampled, ultimately I wouldn't go with this one. All the cream's already gone. And it really feels bready and fine. I love bread. And <laughs> I like the creativity and I like the flavor. I just wanted more of it because it's a good dough. Just give me more flavor. Um, I think the most creative part of this was the story about your wife. Like I, the dedication to your wife and making That's the donut. That's what they were. I feel like that. I found myself, you know, taking parts of the donut and then like kind of squishing them together to get like the better ratio. I don't want you to think it's bad. I just know the flavors you're capable of. Well, let's f***ing cut into all of these until we get some goddamn filling, because it tastes amazing. It's, it's creamy, it's got coffee. I agree, but there's barely any in there. It what the f*** is it? Is it? You guys gotta I taste the f out of this. Look how hard God it is to it. open it. Get some of this. Well, see, but the, look how little there is. I know, but taste, <laughs> taste the taste filling it. itself. I don't disagree that the filling is, I think it's good. Is it a donut? Yeah. Yeah, it's for donut. sure. I see what they're saying. This was very, very, um... <laughs> uh, this, was, this was about the amount of cream filling I was going for. It's a beautifully smelling candle if you just like, oh my god. <laughs> I don't mean that as a negative. Like, if this were a candle... Oh, I mean that positively. I avoided saying anything I, negative I mean by your smoky, <laughs> chalky, dry ass... Justin Bieber <laughs> bullshit I mean, donut. Like, I, I like to see how much your donut retails for. <laughs> I hope you get sued by Justin Bieber. <laughs> I hope we all do. Judges, please close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> I'm in. Imagine you're on a beach in the Caribbean. Feel the Caribbean breeze. <laughs> <laughs> now, you got a craving for a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Judges, open your eyes. Wow. Sitting before you oh. is a Trinidadian curry roti donut. Now, what is a curry roasted donut? Hmm. It's full of curry, full of niceness, and Keith, it's pretty hot. <laughs> so the spoon is, it's a peach refresher. The donut is really hot. Watch your step. <laughs> Indulge. What kind of um, pepper is so hot in it? So it's a scotch bonnet uh, pepper, which is uh, really, 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 Really hot pepper. Really hot pepper. Uh, the curry sauce has a lot of spices as well. So it's gonna hit you. It's gonna be a punch. I am concerned that there's kind of this peach chaser afterwards. <laughs> You're in good hands, guys. <laughs> is, is, there, um, is there a reason that you cut them all in half? Since the, 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 the heat of the Caribbean is gonna hit you, the peaches is just gonna kiss you. So that's why they're in half? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't question it, don't question sure, it. Sure, sure. Okay, yeah, okay. 
Well, it smells delicious. It smells like an Indian restaurant. In my family's from Trinidad and Tobago. Half of the population is black and half of the population is Indian and mixed with uh, other cultures. So I grew up eating a lot of curry. The donut itself looks really nice and fluffy. It's a little dry, mm -hmm. I think, because they were cut in half. So the edges are really crispy. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing yet. That's a great it smells thing. Smells really good. That's a, that's a great thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I love curry. I've never had it on a donut. And it fits with my own through line of savoring the summer. So we're gonna savor the summer right savor now. Savor the take summer, Keith. Hashtag something. Ooh, that, mm, that's big bad Keith. Ooh, Keith, be careful. Did you not heed the warning? Oh boy. <laughs> uh oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's hot. Mm. Yeah. Is this hot too? Mm -hmm. Just keep eating, keep eating. It just keeps burning. It tastes like this is hot too. <laughs> <laughs> it's really salty, which is not a good relief to heat. <laughs> it's like another irritant. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's some sort of, I guess there's citric acid in there as well, which is also an irritant to, to spice. Yeah, some citrus in there. Mm. <laughs> this is not, this is not very relieving. I'm a little like, hurt only because it smells so good and it tastes really good, but I can't possibly eat a whole donut of this. Mm, it's gonna hurt coming out too. <laughs> Great to know. <laughs> but one Caribbean word I wanna teach you is the word vex. If, you, if I don't win, I'm gonna be vex, <laughs> all right? And vex, the definition of vex is angry, pissed. <laughs> <laughs> So. It feels like a judge threat. <laughs> I really enjoy, I really enjoy the topping. Aww. The flavor of the topping is delicious. Yeah, really good. Aww. I also wish I could eat more of it. I love spicy food and my mouth is still hot from just one bite. <laughs> it was too hot for me too. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was hot as shit. Creativity, I love it. I love the story behind it. I love how you brought something that is uniquely you and representative of where you came from. You know, I don't think I've ever actually experienced a curry donut, so this is the first. I think it's a really cool concept. Mm -hmm. I'm not Vex. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, is it a donut? Yeah, it's yeah, a donut. Yeah, for sure. Yes, 100%. It's a donut. Hey! Hey! Dollar, 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 dollar. I made boobays. What? He made boobays? Blue bays? Blue bays. I think he just said boobays. 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 He made boobays. That's pretty good. Good night, folks. Whoa. Judges, I proudly present my original Boba Ube Donuts, otherwise known as Ubes. What you have before you is donut dough with Ube, or purple yam, from the Philippines. The filling is Ube jam with boba, which is tapioca pearls. The glaze is a bourbon lemon Ube glaze. And the nipples are a slice of Ube with a nice little boba pearl on top. Well, you've got a nice fresh rack here for us to try. Let's see. Well, they're these are fun. They're for your imagination, but you know, just uh, I wanted to do an ode to Southeast Asian flavors. So I hand designed each one since all boobies are unique. I'm digging this whole vibe, but I'm, I am a little nervous because I love boba and I love ube, but I've never. Um, had ube. I've never had tapioca balls in a baked good before. So you should get a mouthful right. of balls okay. when you bite into my boobies. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for everyone at home. Sorry to everyone's mothers, grandmothers watching. Well, I, I'm licking my fingers because I'm shredding it apart. So let's okay. just take a, a real bite. Here we go. Hilarious. Make sure to get a little ball. Mm, I'll make sure there's balls in my mouth. Do you get balls? I got five of them. <laughs> I got a good three or four. Mm. 
Let's start with the good things. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Uh, it tastes like it tastes like a donut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like the the fry savory element of, of it is good. The flavors that you've chosen are good. Whoa. There's a lot of great things. One, it's creative. Two, I like the taste of the donut. Yeah. Actually. I also like that you put the flavor on top, like this glaze. I think the glaze is delicious. What's in the glaze on the top? It's bourbon, lemon, and ube extract. Okay. I do like that it's got a little citrus to it. It's like mm-hmm. a nice comparison. Oh, the nipples are awful. <laughs> <laughs> is this baked or cooked or is it just cut? That is boiled. Just a boiled. Okay, it's just a boiled. <laughs> Okay, so a, a boiled the booty. boiled potato on top is kind of it's. <laughs> I would have I would have candied it if I had time, but sure. Eugene, nobody wants, wants a dry nipple. <laughs> <laughs> it's just dry, it's so dry. But tapioca balls have no place in this. They're they're chewy. You're just stuck chewing for like five minutes after each bite. Boba's supposed to be chewy, so it's trying to give you maybe a little different textural experience than you get. I'm not saying that it's doing what it shouldn't do. I'm just saying it shouldn't be there to begin with. <laughs> Boba, the tapioca balls are full of moisture, but inside of the donut, it's they're they're harder. It's awful texturally. It's not great. It's awful. There's so many. There's so many. <laughs> There's so many things here. Mine's raw in the middle. I kept trying to pull at it, thinking maybe it was the jam. I have a whole nip that's just raw in the middle. To be fair, I grabbed the biggest one. The bites that I like, I really, really like. Creativity off the charts. The things that gave it the name are what ruined it. (laughs) (laughs) Judges, is it a donut? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a donut with some things I don't like in it. But, (laughs) But it's a donut. You know what? I'm happy I went for it. Otherwise, I'd have just a basic purple donut. Well, we have a lot to discuss. Yeah. Yeah. Zach really surprised me. Yeah. Really, it probably would have been one of Zach's greatest achievements, if not for this sneaky char. Ned's looks the most in a bakery shop window, and it tastes kind of boring. Quasi's. It's delicious. Yeah, I agree, but also, you know, inedible in a lot of ways. And of course, <gasps> the boba ube boobe. <laughs> well, they delight Ro, and that's, that delights me. I had a really hard time um, appreciating the donut since mine was raw. Yeah. Let's see, so if we had to eat a whole one of these, okay. which one would you eat? Have to. We should all know that these mm-hmm. are close Ooh. rankings. It's not, there's not a clear uh, ranking here. Yes. I can't imagine attempting what you guys did today. Making a donut without a recipe is completely crazy and you guys should be so proud of yourselves because you all made a donut. The donut that came in fourth place had a lot of wonderful things about it. It, it looked nice, it tasted uh, really good, but it had just one thing we couldn't get past uh, with every bite. And unfortunately, the fourth place donut today, and I'm sorry to say this, is Zach's. No kidding! Whoa! The the char and the randomness of not knowing if the bite will be delicious or really bad makes it not something you want to take the risk on. Respectfully? That's fed up. In third place, I have to say the donut was impressive. It was, uh, you know, it was a donut. And that's amazing. But I couldn't eat it. So I'm sorry. Gracie, it's right. Oh my gosh. Oh Oh, what? I'm not supposed to lose? <laughs> We're vexed that? right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're vexed. I'm full vexed. Oh yeah. my god. Uh, I wasn't supposed to lose. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> now, this winner, it. This was really difficult for us. We actually changed our minds a couple of times. Um, both of these dishes were really creative. Their flavors I love. I love ube, I love tiramisu, and they were great bakes. But one of them was just holistically a donut we would want to finish. This is so hard for me to say. I'm torn, but 
The winner is... Eugene! The boobies! Oh, what? 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 Oh, my boobies! My boobies? It wasn't it raw? <laughs> Didn't they have as much filling as I had? You put a boiled potato, and you said that potato? one was boring. Yes. <laughs> oh. Ow, my boobies. Zach's tasted like char. Kwesi's charred our mouths. <laughs> Ned's left us wishing there was more. And Eugene's left us wishing there was less. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for honoring my boobies. <laughs> Would you be able to sell these at Blue Star? Um, hmm, that is, that would put us in a whole new market of customers <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Next week on Without a Recipe. Oh, it looks like diarrhea. Get oh. off! Get off! Best things ever made on this show. Now they're ruined. I sought to make something new.